Hey everybody, welcome into this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the fulfilling orders into CEA dropshipping. So guys, let's get started. First of all, let's access the CEA dropshipping dashboard. So to fulfill orders into CEA dropshipping, the first step is to log into your CEA dropshipping inside the actual Shopify. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started to early. Really don't have to worry about that anywhere. So uh, I'm going to hit now into my dashboard and let's focus into apps. Inside apps, what you want to do is to go into the upper side and go for CJ and focus into search for into the Shopify app store. If you want to, you can just type the hold of it, which is CJ dropshipping. And it's going to be sending you directly into the apps.shopify.com. So, or you can just type into a new tab apps.shopify.com and look out for the CJ dropshipping yourself. So now that you're inside here, let's focus into CJ dropshipping. And make sure that the developer is the exact CJ dropshipping, the rating is 4.9, great reviews, and of course, free. Let's go into install, and there we go. So now what we wanted to do is to just sign into our CJ dropshipping, of course, make the installation process really, really easy and quick. If you don't have a CJ dropshipping account, it's gonna be really, really easy. Just what you just need to do is to hit into authorized as an actual password in order to continue. And now, as you should see, the authorization between your store and the CJ dropshipping should be done successfully. Now, how do I make sure that I locate and review my orders? Inside the dashboard, you can find the section dedicated to your orders inside Shopify. So you should see here, I have the orders. Here should be appearing and here. And now later on, you see a list of all the orders that need to be fulfilled. So of course, you see unfulfilled it. So you clicked in those and you're ready to fulfill your orders inside the actual element of your store. Now to do this directly inside of CJ Dropshipping, let's go back into CJ Dropshipping. And now that we are inside here, I'm gonna type into my store. So the authorization should now be success. So that's how you can connect your store. Really, really easy, right? All right, so now let's focus into the adding orders to the cost. So if you focus here into your dashboard, you should see that we are at level number one. So we are making now the authorization, we list a few products, we have made the email verification, we make the product connection. So let's go and start ordering here into CA Dropshipping. Now, if you focus here into low poly, you see they have the order section. Inside the order section, I'm gonna click into order fulfillment. And here into order fulfillment, you see that we have uh, all the products that were uh, needed to be fulfilled inside here. If you don't see any kind of products, that means that, that, means that you don't have any kind of orders yet. So what you just need to do is to get started by adding orders to the cart. So once you review the orders, the next step is to add them to the cart, the CA drop shipping, consolidate all the select items on one order for easy processment and complete the order details and the payments. So usually here, uh, it should be, let's say for exa example, here and here, the imported orders. And um, let's say for example, that I go back here into my Shopify. So I select all of my products, I select all of the orders, and what I just need to do is to hit into add to the cart and add to cart. So inside your cart, what you just need to do is to complete the order details and the payment. So usually what's gonna happen here is that what you need to do is to fulfill the order time of the sheet year time uh, by importing all of the elements that were created by your actual uh, customer. For example, if I go into my customers, you should see that we have, for example, the name of it, the contact information, default address, the marketing, the tax exemption, all of those elements, all of this stuff into the order should be appearing directly into CA dropshipping. So you don't really have to worry about that. So what you just need to do is just to make sure that all the elements are already been added to them. Select the shipment here, the name, the product title, the SKU number, the order number, the app number total orders, hit now into search. And once you find your order, just click into uh, pay your actual card. It's not that hard actually to get started with. Just lastly, what you need to do is to confirm and finalize the actual orders. So double check all the information, ensure that everything's accurate. Once you're certain, confirm and finalize the order. So this step is crucial to initiate the shipping process and inform your customers about the actual progress. So guys, lastly, you have the tracking and the communicating with the customers. After the order is confirmed, which in this case is appearing in here, hit now into submit and your order should be now added uh, according to them. After the order is confirmed, the CJ Dropshipping provides tracking information, so make sure to retrieve this information and update 
this information directly into your Shopify store. It's also a good practice to communicate this information to your customers for transparency, guys. So all of this information should be granted here into orders. Click into your orders and all of that information provided from GA Dropshipping provided directly here into the store. And well, guys, the you have it. A step-by-step -step guide to how to fulfill orders into CA dropshipping for your Shopify store. So if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with the order dropshippers, subscribe for more valuable content. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so we can all get started to deliver free. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, guys. Once again, you have the link down below. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.